wrapping up a beautiful week of weather. Temperatures starting to cool off. 68 outside right now. Light breeze out of the southeast. We did hit 72 this afternoon. A touch above normal. Also our warmest reading since 80 back on Sunday. So our cold snap. It's over with. Uh, we are going to continue to find fall temperatures through the weekend, but temperatures will continue to slowly march higher. It is a quiet weather pattern locally and across the region. Wet weather, we find some of that up toward Minnesota, across Nebraska, back into the southwest, and you can see this spinning away across Arizona. That's a storm that might give us a shot at some showers on Monday or at least Monday night. Again, locally things are quiet. The area is uh, still flooded with dry air and this cold front is not going to march southeast. So things aren't really going to change over the next few days. It's kind of like a status quo scenario. What we've got is what we're going to continue to find. And one thing that we continue to find with the dry conditions is an elevated fire danger. So continue to use caution through the weekend around any of those fire sources. Uh, temperature tonight will cool off to about 43. Winds light out of the southeast tomorrow. Temperatures edging a little higher. Looks like around 74 for a high in Springfield. Back down to about 44 tomorrow night. I mean, this is perfect fall weather, perfect camping weather. On Sunday, we'll find highs in the mid to upper 70s. In fact, 80 showing up in Joplin Sunday afternoon, about 77 for a high in Springfield. Now, I mentioned the storm in the southwest. This is right now. Watch how the pattern evolves. A little ripple in the jet stream coming out in the middle of the country. The Gulf tries to open up. We see rain off to the west on Monday. It will fade as it moves in our area. We've got a shot, but it looks like anything that we do see Monday night is going to be scattered in nature and it's going to be light in nature. And it's possible that we don't get measurable rainfall over southwest Missouri and northwest Arkansas. And if we don't, that would be 28 days in a row without measurable rainfall. That would be our longest streak in 20 years. And we have a shot, maybe a little bit of wet weather on Wednesday in the area. And then if we don't see anything, then I think we're going to go several more days. So it's very possible that at the end of this run, this may be a record breaking streak of dry conditions and our records here in Springfield go back to 1888. Looking at our back to work forecast Monday near 80 for a high again that chance for some rain showers Monday night Tuesday mostly sunny 82 81 on Wednesday. So we've got some warm weather on the way next week. You can see where it stands. Uh, we can still expect to get to 80 degrees this time of the year. Our latest 80 degree day on record in Springfield was November 13th, 1999. Uh, looking ahead to that last week of this month, the week of Halloween, rain chances still look more promising given the pattern that I'm seeing showing up by that point. And with that, it may impact Halloween. It's quite possible that after a month of dry conditions, we may have to put up with some rain for trick or treaters on Halloween night. Something I'll be watching closely. Uh, again, we talked about the warmth early next week. Things do cool off behind a front that will move through on Wednesday. Looks like those lows fall back into the 40s with highs falling back into the 70s. Another few days in the 80s. Yeah, it's going to be nice. No more 90 degree highs. I think we're no, done with that. We're done with 90, but, but we're not done with 80s. Still lingering. Yeah. All right. Thanks, Jamie. You bet.